What's up guys? What's up tribe? Love's voice family. I'm here with the fantabulous, amazing, beautiful, sexy, my boo, the you woman. You kind of have to say that because I'm your wife. Yeah, the woman I marry, um, <laughs> Alexi Panos. Today's video is about three reasons why women break up with their men. Men pay attention, ladies pay attention. We got some good stuff in here. Plus solutions. Yes. Boom. So, reason number one. Number one is because, and we hear this quite a bit, like straight up. All of our clients. Coaching clients, friends, we hear this people so in much. Our yeah, when we're in workshops, people ask this question all the time. Yeah. What do I do when my husband, boyfriend, guy I'm dating, isn't growing with me? I feel like I'm getting ahead. I feel like I'm trying to drag him along. I feel like I'm trying to get him to see how personal development is so great. I feel like, you know, here I am pulling him, hey babe, wanna come to this seminar? Hey yeah. babe, wanna read this book? Hey babe, let's grow together. Yes, and even worse off than that is, and we've seen this quite a few times, is when a husband, boyfriend, sees that the woman is growing and starts to punish or make her wrong, or make her wrong yeah. for this. And this is like, guys, if you're doing this, you will not have Stop a woman it. for much longer. <laughs> um, here's the solution. This is like tricky, right? This is layered. So yes, women, totally get it, right? But the filter from which you are seeing personal development and you growing has you stuck thinking that he isn't growing as well. So it's still judgment. And this is the thing that a lot of people don't get. They're in this spiritual hierarchy thing where you know, oh, because I'm working on myself, because I'm developing myself, yes. and they're not, yes. insert partner, family member, friend, they're not as evolved as I am, yes. which is in, it kind of a judgment. Yes, like, you let's put be yourself honest. on a pedestal yeah. because you don't have the trained eye to see the ways in which your man, and here's the solution, the ways in which your man is showing up. Yeah, I teach him all the time. And showing you, you know, like he has no problem playing video games with his friends. But you, on the other hand, won't stop working. Yeah. He has no problem taking time out to go into nature and to do stuff that makes him happy. But you, on the other hand, won't Dude. stop trying to fix the house and everything else that you stress and worry about. And so while you're sitting there judging him from your pedestal, the best way that you can see it in a different way is to understand that just because it doesn't look the way that you think it should doesn't mean that it's not happening. It doesn't mean that it's wrong. And yes. this is a big thing too. Anybody and everybody, everything in life, there are teachers. And when we respect the outside world, the world outside of ourselves, with that mentality of you have something here to teach me. You are a miracle just as I'm a miracle. And you have something to teach me that's profound, that will um, add to my evolution as a spiritual and human being. When you treat people in your life that way, watch how they show up differently. Yep. Because you're resisting the fact that they're not doing it your way and growing with you, you're actually pushing them away from yep. you. And you're creating resistance between the two of you, which has him then maybe hating personal development because yep. you're pushing it on him. Yep, because energetically he fills you. And, and he, he feels judged. Uh, at Agape, one of the pastors said, you cannot rise to low expectations. Yes. And it, both of us looked at each other at the same time and we're like, wow. So this is a big thing. Your husband, your partner, your man cannot rise to your low expectations. Be the example. Uh. Be the living embodiment of that which you say you are. Get and him, this is a thing that we see a lot in people who are working on themselves. They've got all the right lingo, they've got all the right proverbs and metaphors, and they've read all the right books, but yet they're not the embodiment of the work. Yes, so I... be the embodiment of the work, and that hands down can't help but be inspired. So inspire from that way, don't push. Reason number two why women break up with their men is because their men are not, and this is the perceived idea, but because the men aren't showing up as leaders, because the men aren't showing up and they're masculine. And so, ladies, I get it. Um, I do too. I've been there. And I've been there. I've been the dude who's wishy-washy. I've been the dude who hasn't been um, as decisive in, you know, warrior energy from a loving, beautiful place. And so, fellas, if you're listening, you choosing not to ever choose anything Hun, what do you want for dinner tonight? I don't know. You Whatever pick. you want. Yes. You being <laughs> that dude. Where should we go to the movies? What should we see? I don't, I don't know. know. You pick. I don't care. Right? But then when she does pick and it's like a romantic comedy, then you're you like... You secretly hate it. Yeah. And you're texting the whole time. <laughs> exactly. And... <laughs> We're going to get that as another video coming up. Yeah. But listen, guys. It's very important if you would like to keep the roles as you would. And women, 
Also, you get to let up some of that masculine so he can thinking. step into it. Get him that's, in, baby. That's Get him. I, that's what I was going to talk about. Because here's the thing. I hear so many women complaining that a man's not stepping up. I feel like I'm doing all the work. I feel like he doesn't appreciate me. I feel like I have to be feminine and a masculine, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then I look at the way of being of this particular woman, and she's talking like this, and she's in her masculine, <laughs> and she's like, yeah, you know, I'm doing all these things, and da 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 And I just simply say, have you created the space for him to show up? Is there any room? Yes. Is there any room for him to actually leave? Or are you taking up all the space because of your fear of letting go of him? Yes, and then punishing him when he doesn't step in. That's because, it. ladies, you have to understand, all day, every day, men, especially when they're outside of the house, are in their masculine. So he's being decisive at work. He's being decisive with his friends. And then when he gets home, he wants to just sort of settle in and not do anything and you know in the olden days people would grab a remote control and just tune out but now it's text messaging and video games and you know that kind of stuff but understanding the masculine understanding where he's coming from and then solution celebrating the ways in which he is stepping into his masculine will have him do more that's it what you celebrate you get more of what you focus on expands and what you put your attention on thrives so Ladies, take an honest look at yourself and go, where am I holding the reins so tight that there's no room for my man to show up in his master? Mm. Where am I making all the decisions? Where am I actually teaching him that I've got everything? Yep. Because that's the big thing too. Like a behavior that you're being with in your relationship, you've allowed that. And so has your partner. So you've essentially taught your partner how to show up with you. And if you've repeatedly shown him that there is no room for him to be masculine, that you will chop his balls off at the moment that he tries to be masculine, guess what's going to happen? Yeah. Just guess. He'll be like, cool. Awesome. I'll never do that again. Right. She's got it. So I'll just do it outside. We're training, we're training, we're training, we're constantly training. So take a step back and go, how can I allow him to show up powerfully? How can I ask him for support? How can I acknowledge yes. him and because celebrate? Just, him? just because you can doesn't mean you should, ladies. That's a big thing. Alexi and I have never and will never say that we get all this stuff right. Both no. of us have been... Um, we've, we've learned a lot of this yes. the hard way. <laughs> yeah. Guilty of this in ourselves. And so Alexi, admittedly, in her own videos and you know in public, speaks about how her mask, she can get to her masculine so Easy. easily. And so, you know, there have been times, fella, hear this, if your woman is an A-type personality like this fantastic Hi. woman, um, and can get into her masculine easily, what you can also do is just ask her to step out of it. You can say, hey baby, can I get that door for you? Hey baby, can, I know you can pick up the suitcases, we travel all the time. And I see her trying to lug this thousand pound bag all the time. And what I do is I just go up and I take it off her shoulder. Yeah. Right? And yeah, I say, he doesn't even ask. Because sometimes when he asks, I'm like, no, no, no. No, I've got, got it. it. No, you don't have it. Because then later you're complaining about your neck hurting and all of that stuff. And even without all of that, like dudes, for now, for the most part, this is not like, you know, None of this law. Is law. This but is just for now, for the most part, men tend to be stronger than women in particular areas, like when it comes to picking up rocks and things like that, because we do it all the time. So that's an easy way for you to step in and start showing that you can be in your masculine. Yes. Okay, so Got number it. three. Way number three, reason number three. Why women lead their men. Yes. Is that they are too damn nice. Guys, too nice. I get it. You meet the girl. She's amazing. You want it to go right. You grew up as a people pleaser. Like I get the whole process because that is something that I have experienced as well. But, and we've seen this, clients have come to us many, many times. And I'm sure Alexi will talk about her girlfriends and all of that stuff. But I, the people who have come to me will say things like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. He's like, great. He's great. He, he's like everything on my list, he checks off. He's kind of a pushover. But he's boring. He's a pushover. He kind of lets me do whatever I want. And he's a wimp. And listen, guys. Now, I got to say this. Hold on. I got to say this. Let me be my masculine woman. Say it, um, I got to say this. Fellas, sometimes your women are PMSing. True. And At you, least once a month. And you guys, exactly. <laughs> and you guys, you guys start cowering and trying to play nice guy. And I'm trying to tell you, this is the deal. We have to understand this. Men are crazy, women are crazy. We're all crazy. Women have a different crazy. We got our and own type of crazy. sometimes they just like to talk. 
sometimes they just like to just have stuff come out of their mouths. Well, and women into like women are more intuitive and we're more communicative. Like we get together in groups and we talk about verbally stuff. communicative. Men yes. Yes. are like very direct. Get to the point. Yes. What do you need? And so if you're constantly letting her do that thing where she just flips out on you for some sh stuff you didn't even do, and you let her get away with that, you're also teaching her. We're training her. Oh, I can basically punk this dude. Anything I want, I can throw a temper tantrum. I had a friend who, I won't use his name, and he's dating this girl who I also knew, who I won't use her name. I, wonder if I, know her. I wasn't a fan, um, but she would just run him into the ground. She would take him to restaurants where she knew he didn't have the money I to pay that. for it, and then order everything, and then he would pay for it, and then complain later. There are lady balls and there are men balls. Fellas, take your man balls back. And I'm gonna say this from a lady's perspective. Almost every woman I know says, I just wanna meet a nice guy. Yep. I just wanna meet a Bull nice guy. Where crap. are all the nice guys? The minute they find them, they're bored out of their mind yep. within a week. And they're like, mm, you know what? I'm gonna date the bad guy. They go to the full other extreme and get their heart broken again. So ladies, I'm gonna say this. A, you get to appreciate the, the nice, in your man. You get to appreciate the um, the gentleman, the the mm. way that he acknowledges you. And men, you also get to hold your ground and create boundaries. Part of the masculine energy that women really love is knowing that there's a boundary. Yeah. Knowing that, you know, you're not afraid to step into your masculine and own your space because in kind of our, our caveman brain, yes. a woman looks at that and goes, okay, he can protect me if needs Confident. Be. Like he's confident, he's, he'll move straight into uh, trouble, he'll move straight into discomfort, and he'll hold it down. Yep. Meanwhile, a lot of guys just avoid, 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 and there is nothing sexy about that. Nope. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Fellas, it's okay. If you're the nice guy, you're probably gonna get broken up with. But you can be the nice guy and still hold your boundaries. Exactly. You don't have to like play games. You don't have to like no. cheat. We're not saying any of that. Nope. We're saying be nice and also hold your own. Stand and up for yourself. be you. Exactly. Yeah. Have preferences and hold to those things. Yes, we all make concessions in our relationship. And that's a part of the game. That's a part of being in a relationship. But if you are the one that's constantly folding and constantly, you know, Whatever okay. you want, honey. Yeah, yeah. Like, One day you'll wake up and your head will explode. She's gonna be gone. Like, or you're gonna be gone because uh -huh. you're gonna have a nervous breakdown. Exactly. Well, guys, so that's we are, it. We are here in Zanzibar. We are. Let's show them where we are. You see my baby's African skirt? You see how cute she is? Uh huh. We are out here in Zanzibar in this beautiful white sand beach in the water. Nungu. Nungu Beach. Yes, and it's fantastic. Yeah. It's amazing. We love you guys. Blessings and blessings. If you're new to the family, new to the tribe, and you have not seen the hundred or so other videos that are on my channel or, or haven't mine. seen Alexi's channel, um, go ahead and do that and hit the subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, like, comment, and share, please. We love you guys so much. We do. Blessings and blessings is going down in a beautiful, major way. Oh, I want this powerful, beautiful man or this, this, this sexy, attractive woman who's confident and smart and all of these things, but they are sharing themselves with somebody who is not that. And energetically, you can only attract who and what you are. So if you are sharing your body, be discerning about who you do that.